read a story about a homicide or a terrible crime that's being committed in the city, and they have any kind of detail about the suspect that's been arrested in that case, inevitably, you will see that that person has 10, 15, 20 prior arrests. They were out on bail, they were out on probation, they were just arrested last week and let go. What does that tell us? That tells us the police are still doing a pretty good job of spending their resources responding to crime and, and concentrating on, on people who pose a significant risk, but it also tells us that the rest of the criminal justice system is not operating as a backstop in the way that it used to. Police are still making arrests. They're not being as proactive as they were, but that's out of, I think, an understandable fear that they're not gonna right. be given a fair shake if they make a mistake, right. if they do something that looks bad on camera. But when they do make an arrest, Prosecutors are less likely to prosecute. The judge is less likely to hand down a serious sentence. So the police officer feels, why bother? Exactly. Why take a risk with your own life, with your own career, and then you deliver the criminal, and then basically the prosecutors and the judges do nothing with it.